Hello guys, welcome to Funch. In a brand new tutorial, we will be designing this landing page for a mobile app NFUP. This is a part of the series that we've been designing in our previous videos for the NFUP mobile app. We have designed mobile screens, but in this situation, we will be designing a website landing page. Okay, let's get started with this website project. First, what you want to do is you want to import the Sarpac files that we have provided in the description. So make sure to copy the files and paste them into your Figma file. I'm just going to paste them here. This will be all the essentials that we will be using for this website landing page. So logo, some textiles, the two icons here, colors and some imagery. So let's get started. First, what you want to do, you want to get a desktop frame here. Let's name our file. Crypto web, web, crypto. Tree AI landing page. This is the concept for this page, and let's name this fray frame landing page. There we go. Okay, let's give it a fill. We want it to be linear gradient, and let's set this gradient something like this. And let's get some colors here. So for the first one, we want to add this one this blue and for the second one we want to add this one and let's set this one to 90 percent the second one there we go okay let's uh create a layout grid before we go into everything else we want a margin of 96 pixels and we want a gutter of 16 pixels with a count of 12. there we go okay let's uh design the navigation so Create a frame of 64 pixels and scale it all the way to the other end. There we go. Let's name this navigation. There we go. Easy peasy. Let's copy the logo, the NFUP logo, and just paste it into your frame. There we go. Center it. Great. Okay. Uh, let's design the navigation links. So let's write them up. First one is discover. They should be in open sans font family and they should be 16 pixels. And we're going to be needing an icon. This is supposedly a drop down menu, so we're just going to add an icon here. And let's add this icon a white color. Let's position this correctly. We want the icon to be to the bottom edge of the text. Let's make sure they're in the frame, both of them. And there we go. Okay, that should be... Okay. Great. Let's group them and... But it's still not aligning as it should. Let's try this one more time. There we go. Now it's good. Let's make sure to experiment to get the perfect spot. Let's copy this. Make sure the text is center. Second one is community. There we go. Third one. Should be solutions. Should be four pixels away. And the fourth one should be. Let's ungroup this. So again, fourth one should be about us. There we go. Let's select all of the links, align them, and distribute horizontal spacing of 40 pixels. Now you can group them and align them to the center. I'm not still happy about this uh, chevron, so I'm just going to put them up a little bit. And there we go. That should look much better. Okay, we have our links ready. So what we're going to do next is we want to design the connect wallet button. So let's just write here, connect wallet. 
We can add all, all the layout holding shift A. Add 8 pixels to the top and bottom and 16 to the left and right. And what we want to do is we want to add a fill. We want this primary color fill. First one and there we go. That should work well. Let's add 8 pixels of corner radius and make sure the text is centered and it's uh, it's bold. Let's go with semi bold. Make sure it's aligned on your grid and it's centered. Perfect. Okay. Let's write up the hero components here. So we're going to need a title, a description, and a button. Let's start with the title. Also add a gradient to the text. Let's write it up. Evolutionary AI centralized trading on web. There we go. Align it to the left, and this should be Seagull UI. And let's add a bigger font. There we go. Let's try it 48. Yeah, 48 should work well. Align to the grid. And let's give this uh, first two words some font gradients so you can go to fill linear and try to position it in the middle of your text it doesn't have to be perfect but make sure it's in the middle and let's select this first color our primary color and we can copy it one more time copy this and we can give this another color maybe something wider let's position it a little bit back and copy it one more time and let's give this this purple shade and let's give it the same shade to the last component as well here. Okay. Should be four. There we go. Let's position these. Let's copy this one more time. Something for the middle. And make sure it's something fun. And there we go. Let's give this a bold. And let's see here what we can do. Try to make it as readable as possible. Let's make sure to experiment on your own as well. There we go. Okay, let's write up the description below it. So Another platform we leverage sophisticated machine learning alg algorithms and algorithms. There we go. And natural. What? Oh, we have a typo. And natural language processing. Deliver actionable insights and produce tangible outcomes for you. There we go. Let's uh, add open sans as font family and 16 pixels. It should be 96 pixels from the left. There we go. And it should be 24 pixels from the title. Great, let's select this uh, background color as it fill and let's give something slightly, just slightly bluish, very slight in this background. There we go. Let's set semi bold here. It seems more re readable. Let's design the button, the call to action button here. So get started. We're going to be needing an icon here. So copy this right arrow icon and just paste it into your design let's give it a white color and let's uh give eight pixels of distance there we go now you can create a frame around this text and icon after grouping them and just add all the layout holding shift a 
let's give this uh 16 pixels top and bottom and 32 let's try 12 here yeah 12 should work excellent now let's give it a fill uh you can select the button at the navigation you can give it the same fill let's give this button 16 pixels for a radius there we go make sure it's 96 pixels from the left and 32 pixels from the description there we go let's group all of these and position them 180 pixels from the navigation there we go perfect okay now we can uh, insert our phone mockups so just copy the imagery and paste them and you can position them make sure to position the phone just right on the grid you can trust your eye you don't have to trust the frame here so there we go let's position it just so slightly down and we can disable the grid okay now we can we want to, to add circles behind you so just click home and create a circle on this grid does have to be as big but something around here there we go and what you want to do is you want to this circle to be behind your mock up so make sure to see which mock-up is the is in your frame and just place it place the eclipse circle below it so it goes right behind it or even better you can just hide this and you can work with your circles you can lock it as well okay let's create another circle circle so just copy this one and Let's select both circles right now and position them in the center. You want the smaller circle to be above the bigger one, so it will pop up. And you want to give this uh, second color here. And you can select a uh, bigger circle and give this other blue. There we go. We can group both circles now. We can unlock and show the mockups okay there we go guys our landing page is ready thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment and we'll catch you in the next video thank you